Lucas Media. So we got some news coming out of boxing. Shakur Stevenson and Cameron and Mace been going back and forth. This all started because Cameron and Mace showed a video of them falling asleep watching Shakur fight. And of course, they had jokes about it. So Shakur got mad and had some stuff to say, basically threatening Cam and Mace. Then Cam and Mace, I'm paraphrasing, but basically you don't want no smoke, man. Stick to boxing, man. And if you wasn't a boring fighter, people wouldn't have nothing to say because that's the, the running narrative now is that Shakur is boring. Now, Jay Prince who is Shakur's manager. A lot of people don't know Jay Prince is a manager of boxing as well, along with former, or not even former, he's in music and, you know, got rap a lot and Drake and all it. But yeah, had to say, quote, let the haters say that he's boring. Nobody wants to watch him. Sorry to tell you, it's just a select few of haters. You can see the proof that he has number one ratings in the final ESPN this year and top three ratings since 2022. And to all the haters who want to escalate outside the ring, I'm Shakur's manager and I handle all his business outside the ring. In other words, Cam and Mace, I will fade all his shots and take all bets. Now, here's my thing about OG. You need to, you need to say something to your fighter because he started. It. he started it and i'm so sick and tired of all these public people they the most sensitive people when shakur was running around here talking about chasing devin haney and and me devin haney ducking me and signed the contract and you jumping in the ring talking about devin haney lost to lomachenko everybody was on your side but then what happens you put on two back-to-back -back boring performances and now you mad because people are calling you boring well the way to do that shakur is to stop threatening people outside the ring and do your job inside the ring. All of this was started because of him. And also, at the, at these press conferences, Shakur, he be talking crazy. You can't talk like you that guy. You cannot talk like you're that guy. And then you put on back-to-back -back snooze fest. One time it was your hand. The next time it's something else. Like, nobody want to hear that, man. You can't portray yourself as a tough guy. But then when you get in the ring, you pretty much don't want a pillow fight. Now, again, me personally... I'm a diehard boxing fan. I see the sweet science. But the casuals, they don't watch him boxing like that. So Shakur, you got to understand, the only thing they seeing is that they seeing you run your mouth and then you go out there and lay an egg to them. Versus a Tank Davis, he run his mouth outside the ring, but he back it up inside the ring. I don't think this ain't going, this ain't no real beef, man. You know, Jay Prince is a businessman. Cameron and Mace are businessmen. They're not, it's not, it's just, it, they just going back and forth. But Jay Prince, honestly, it was your fighter. And the way... To get people to stop clowning your fighter is Shakur going to have to step it up. One more thing, Cameron Mace was like, yeah, you had the number one view because it's on free TV. Now, it is on ESPN Plus, which is what, $10 a month? Didn't it used to be $5 a month too? So sick of people raising prices, man. You can't get nothing, milk, nothing no more uh, under $10. But yeah, it was originally, I think, $5 a month. But yeah, you, you're pretty, it's not free TV, but you know it's accessible for a lot of people. And you got to take all hate as good hate, Shakur. One thing I, I respect about Adrian Broner, he didn't care if you liked him or hate him, you were still paying to see him. So instead of you getting in your feelings, going back and forth with people online and, you know, showing the, the sensitive side in you, play on to it, take advantage of it, and go out there and dominate your next fight. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.